Hey guys, so I'm sitting out here on my porch just relaxing on this Sunday afternoon and I'm getting ready to start on a stingray. So I finished one yesterday, this little mini one in the car on our little road trip. I posted a short about it, um, giving some organizational tips for taking your crochet on the go with you. And I finished this cute little stingray. The pattern is by Rose and Lily Crochet. There is a free pattern as well as a YouTube video. And I really enjoyed making this. I used baby velvet, um, but it turned out smaller than I thought. So I just thought I would do a fun little experiment, I guess, if you want to call it that, where I use blanket yarn in a similar color and make it like the mommy stingray and the baby stingray, <laughs> just because I think that's super cute. So I thought that I would just kind of make this be like a little crochet with me. So I hope that you will pick up a project as well and crochet along with me. I will link the pattern in the description if you'd like to make the same thing as I am. But with that, let's just get started. Okay, so I am a few rows in, about three rows in, and I can already tell that this one is going to be a lot bigger. So I'm excited about that. I knew it would be, but I just didn't know how much bigger. So the part that you see here is just the head before you get to the fins. So you can see the size of that, and then you can see that this literally fits inside. So this one is going to be the, just the head, the width of the head and the fins. So this one should definitely be much bigger. I'm really excited about it. Um, but I will say, I don't know what it is. If it's these yarns that I'm just not as used to using, where it's a little bit more difficult to see your stitches. You know, like the velvet yarn is really, really smooth and shiny. And so there's not a lot of stitch definition. And so um, it was a little bit difficult for me to see exactly where each stitch was at certain points. And it's the same thing with blanket yarn, and that's why I haven't made much amigurumi with blanket yarn. It's I'm just not used to working with it, and it's just a lot harder to see your stitches. I think that the more that I work with it, the better I'll get. But like with this little guy, I had to take it out and restart it several times before I could get it right, and it's still a little uneven. You can see that this fin is a little higher than this one. Um, and then I'm still having a similar issue where I am supposed to end on a certain amount of stitches and I'm either one or two off and so let's just keep on crocheting. Here's what I have so far, and to be honest, it's looking crooked again. <laughs> so I thought about redoing it, but I don't know. I kind of feel like it's going to work out still. Um, I don't know why I'm struggling with this pattern. I think it's just I'm not Hi. used to this yarn. <laughs> Hi. How many times, how many videos has this kid popped up in? Why do you have that on your face? Because. <laughs> so I will check back in when we know if this is actually crooked or if it's going to work out or I'm going to have to scrap the whole project. <laughs>
make dinner and <laughs> do some other things. So I did take a break from crocheting, but I just finished up the stingray and it turned out really awesome. Um, it is, like I said, not perfect, but it did work out fine where I didn't have to redo it. Um, I did have to pull some stitches out here and there, but like I didn't have to completely start over, thankfully. So I am going to put a wire, I think, in here or a pipe cleaner to curve the tail because I just like the look of that. Um, but it does kind of stay if you smush it together. Um, but I just think this is really super cute. So here's the baby that I made with the baby velvet yarn. And then this one is um, brunette blanket. So you can see the size comparison. The color is almost spot on. It's just that this is velvet and this is not. So this one has more of a shine to it. But I really, really love these. I would definitely recommend the pattern. Again, it will be linked below. Um, I did have a little bit of trouble, but I think it was just me. Um, I think just because I don't work with with blanket yarn especially very often, which I want to do more of, um, it's just a little bit harder for me to see my stitches. And with Omigurumi, you have to be so precise and everything with your counts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want me to do more of these, definitely let me know. It was fun to try something new and it kind of kept me motivated to finish this project instead of letting it, you know, sit as a whip for a few days. I've been really wanting to make some amigurumi lately, so these were the perfect little project. You have to know that a pattern is good whenever you make it twice in a row. <laughs> I normally don't do that, so that says something about how cute I think this is. But anyway, um, I don't have a Bible verse prepared. So I'm just going to say the one that I always do whenever I don't have one prepared. And I think it's it's one that a lot of us who are Christians know. And it's one of the most important verses in the whole Bible, I think. They're all important, but you know what I mean. And it's John 3.16, which is, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. I'm so thankful for that. And as always, if you have any questions about faith or crochet, send me an email at kristencrochets at yahoo.com. And I cannot wait to chat with you guys in the comments. I pray that God blesses you and that you have an amazing week. I'll see you super soon in the next one. Bye.